Hey guys, welcome to another Reverbrawlic tutorial. Today we're looking at contact. I got a quick tip for you using the batch resave function to speed up sample loading. So we've got contact loaded up inside of Reaper and um, click on the disk icon at the top and you'll find batch resave. And what this is going to do is go into a uh, the instrument or multi section of this whatever library you choose uh, it will then search for all the files that belong there and then commit the file paths to that preset file so it knows exactly where to go and it, it skips the whole search process and then it's just instantly loaded i ran into this because the kurt baloo and the blasting room libraries that i reviewed last year um, loaded really really slow for me and I had no idea why. I just thought it was kind of part of how contact works. I've owned contact for a couple of years and everything's just been slow to load on. I thought it was normal. Uh, turns out it can load instantly if you run this batch resave uh, function. So let's go ahead and do that. Batch resave. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna do this, yes or no. Click yes. And we're going to um, one of the libraries on your hard drive. Um, you can do this with a contact factory library, any of the third-party libraries. You're probably going to see a benefit no matter which library you use. I'm not sure why this isn't part of the installation process um, when you install a library. It, it should just do this for you, but you got to go through and do this for every library. I think I've already gone through all my libraries to do this, uh, so I'm just going to kind of choose one at random. Here's the Blasting Room library, which is kind of a big library. It's going to take a few minutes to go through this. So it searches for any missing files. It finds all the files that belong with this library. And then all the presets are going to be updated with those file paths. And so instead of taking up to two minutes to change a preset, it's going to be more like one second. I actually found that if I had a, a template saved, it would load almost instantly in Reaper. But uh, if I change a preset, it would take two minutes. And that didn't make any sense to me. I asked uh, Evil Dragon, who is a expert on all things contact. He works with professional libraries to like do all the scripting and implementation of the samples. He's my go-to expert. He knows contact inside and out, and he suggested batch resave. And he was right. It's, it's totally changed my view on contact. I, I thought it was just a slow piece of crap before, but it's so fast. Um, once you go through this process of saving your presets again. So it's just about done. Um, and we're not going to see anything different. It's just going to, you know, this window is just going to disappear. And we'll go back to the, uh, the empty window. And we'll be able to um, quickly insert uh, a preset. So that loaded in just a couple seconds, two seconds maybe. I'm not going to edit out different times. The entire patch hasn't loaded yet. It's still loading the samples into memory, but we can right now switch presets and uh, even switch libraries. So uh, yeah, I'll switch to the Kerpaloo library where I've already gone through this batch resave process. And I've just completely changed everything, uh, changed the instrument and it's loaded in super quick. That's the best tip I've ever found for contact users get that batch resave uh, function working on all of your libraries. You're gonna save so much time uh, waiting for presets to load, instruments to load, all that kind of stuff. So that's my tip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. See ya.